Okay, so this lady has me here <laughs> forcing me against my will to tell the story of how we met. She says if I don't do it, she's not going to cook me dinner tonight, so. No, I didn't. Um, I'm on my keto right now, so I'm drinking zero sugar. This is probably horrible for you. It's probably got a bunch of chemicals in it, but it's keto right now, so I'm taking the chemicals for the sake of keto. <clears throat> it feels like an interrogation. Like, this is like, you guys might see it, but it's like a whole ring light right here. It's like, I feel like I'm back in an interrogation room. <laughs> Anyways, this is how she told me. It's like, Tell the story of how we met, babe. It's trending. Um, we met at TJ Maxx. The end. Bam! And she's like, no, you have to say, like, I woke up in the morning and it's like a thought in my head and bing and... Babe, <laughs> what the freak, Jack. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, it's a cute story. All right, whatever. Um, I was going to the store. I needed a shirt. I needed a shirt, so I was heading over to TJ Maxx because we live in Levine, which is like a a like a, a little kind of like a um, suburban area right on the outside of Phoenix, on the south side. Babe, what? are you making weird faces? No, <laughs> I'm smiling. This oh, is okay. cute. Omg. Anyways. Uh, Babes, don't be a weirdo while I'm telling the story. Babe. So, oh. so, uh, I went to the store or whatever to, to, to grab the shirt because it's right, it's right by, um, like where we live at. Like, Levine is pretty small. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I pull up to the store and then I noticed her. Babe, stop for <laughs> real, dude. Don't be a weirdo. He noticed me. And um, I noticed she was. She, I noticed her. She got out of her car, or whatever, and I looked at her. I was single at the time, so I was, you know, I'm checking everything out, everything moving out. So I seen her. I was like, okay, I see you. I, I see you got working with a little some some. So. <laughs> So I kind of stalled out, you know what I mean? Because I was, I think I was there ahead of time. I was on my phone doing something. And then when I seen her, I was like, all right, I'm going to slow, I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what I mean? Slow my roll. Because anybody who knows me, I'm fast. I'm, I do everything fast. So I was like, all right, let me slow up real quick. <laughs> Did you go in the store first? Yes. That's why you were so, following Yeah, me. so I wasn't following it. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I was on the hunt at that point in time, but she didn't know that. So um, what? Yeah, you didn't know I was like, you didn't know I was like even looking at you or nothing. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, um, so I'm on my phone or whatever, and it, I, I was, I really wasn't even trying to pursue her. On the real, like I just noticed, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna let her go in front of me so I can look at her ass." So she goes in the store. I go in the store. I go over to my stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling. <laughs> You're being weird. <laughs> the freak. <gasps> I go over to the. Fr I'm gonna finish this shit up. I go over <laughs> to the fucking shirts. Right, I, it's TJ Maxx. For some reason, the TJ Maxx where we're at. I like like Ross, but for the TJ Maxx where we're at, it didn't have no good guy shirts at the time. So I kind of flipped through my, I dip. I'm like, I'm out of here. So I leave. I'm like, said and done. I had no interest in like talking to her or anything. I was just admiring her booty. I, that's the only thing. When I pulled up, I noticed her. I was like, all right, I'm going to let her go so I can look at her booty. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so I come out. No, nah, you skipped a whole part. He didn't find a shirt, and I was like, I literally, leaving because I got what I'm not, I needed. I didn't skip anything. You're so ready to tell the story. Why don't you tell it? 
I, I don't find the shirt. That's what I just told you. I look through there. They don't have good shirts. I leave. Here she comes right out the door behind me. I'm, so I turn around. I'm like, I look like I'm on my phone. At this point in time, I'm going to the next mission. I'm, I'm fine. My, you know, I think I'm looking, probably what I'm doing is looking for Ross. I think I'm trying to put Ross into my, to my, what you call it? Babe, I freaking see you doing something weird. <laughs> This is some weird video, man. What is the purpose of this video? <laughs> it's so they can know our story. So why are you... It's not a prank video? Mm-mm. It's so they can know how we became lovers. Oh, my God. Anyways, man. She comes out behind me. And I turn around and I look at her, and the first thing, like, all I did was, like, look over to see who's behind me. I look at her, and the, right, like, it, like, it's like she threw it up. It was, like, she, it was involuntary, like, she couldn't help it, right? And she was, like, I'm not stalking you. And I'm, like, that makes me think you're stalking me. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, Did no. you say stalking or following I'm pretty um, sure she said stock. I said phone. No, I'm like I, I'm like ninety-eight percent sure she was like You're wrong. I'm not stalking you. I said following you. No, I think you said stalking. And, and you're talking about that. No, I'm dead ass serious. I think this girl was like, I'm not stalking you. And then I was like intrigued, they like caught because she was headed towards her car, I was headed at towards my car. And I'm like and honestly, the rest is a little blurry for me because I think maybe I was like, what's your name or something? Let and, me tell you what it was. Or I asked for her number and this, cause she's at her car and I'm at my car. It's not like way apart, but it's like, she's in another aisle, I'm in this aisle. And so I'm kind of talking to her cause she said that crazy shit. So I'm like, well, fuck. And she's open, obviously. If she would say something like that, like I'm not following you, I'm not. And she kind of laughed it off and I was like, I can't even remember what I said, but I, I did was, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to shoot my shot then. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And so I asked her, her for her number. So we ended up coming up and meeting in the middle and she gave me her name and her number and stuff like that. And I texted her and then we like texted for like, I don't know, I'm going to say like three weeks maybe. And then we went on a date and like yada, yada, yada. Rest. Now she's pregnant and she's um, Mary. Uh, oh my god, yeah, we're engaged. That the was end. quite a lot of gaps in the story. So I will tell you the story another time because his version is not my version. Your truth is your truth. <laughs> yes. Cheers Jeez. to that. <laughs>